Hey guys, James here today, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Get to Work Racks of Riches. I was struggling to remember what the title was there for a moment. Uh, so, good news! I My keyboard is fine. I let it dry out overnight. Works beautifully, so I got the old page up and page down function. Oh, how I missed the... Uh, so that'd be good. Uh, anyways, yeah, that's about the uh, the extent of the good news this episode. So let's uh, continue a fast forwarding as she sleeps. All good, get up. So this episode, I pretty much just want to make money. Uh, that's, well, I mean, that is the whole goal of this series in general is to make money, but I want to make more. Like, I want to make a lot of money this episode. I really want to try and just focus the entire episode just making a lot of money, making a lot of bank, because we need to do some renovations and all that. A lot of people keep saying they want me to move her house to the basement, but you seem to forget earlier on in the series I said that I want to expand the store to the basement. I want to have like a, a sort of a basement area to the store itself. Uh, I think we'll make the basement sort of like... Uh, the accessory store. Maybe that's where we'll sell uh, the easels and, I don't know, other art-related supplies. Maybe, like, the sculpting things. I don't know. And then she'll always live on the top level here. We'll just expand her place. And it'll eventually just become part of the factory up the top. And it'll blend in a little bit better. Uh, also, a lot of people yelling at me to check the, the inventory. I knew there was stuff in here. There's only three of these things in here. I don't know. I think some people seem to think that there are a lot more items in here. We only have three of these large beams, which I do actually probably want to use inside because uh, we can just put them oh, they, they actually do overlap the windows a little bit I guess we could put them on the inner ones uh, so we could put them there because I will want to use these and I will probably buy some more later on I do like that we can put larger ones on the small areas yeah and then what I'll probably do is get some more of these and overlap them up here or something like that and then just connect these ones. But obviously, I'm not going to spend money doing that now. I want to save a little bit of money. Uh, the other thing that was suggested, which was a pretty cool idea, uh, and I, did, I don't know why I didn't think of this, was the um, was to get some chimneys uh, for, like, the top of the building. Probably, we could even get a little air conditioning unit. Probably won't do any of this now, because it'll be quite expensive. But definitely getting some of these around the place uh, to sort of, you know, finish off the look would be good. Uh, oh, even, even some little whirly birds would be good. How much are these? 45 bucks. Oh, we could get a few of these. So we could get like, get a couple of whirly birds. Hang on, let's put them in line with that little gap there. So it sort of lines up with those two roofs. Uh, so where was it? Like, I don't even know. No, it was, I guess there. That doesn't really make any sense though. It should be at the top of the roof line. Uh, it should be like there, there, there. Uh, and how come that doesn't make any sense? What have I done? Have I not? Oh, this one is way off. Wait, hang on, how come I put that one there? That doesn't make any sense. I was lining them up with these gaps, but obviously uh, it went wrong uh, part way through that. Uh, so put it there. Oh my god. Yeah, so that thing about making money. Yeah, that's that's an idea. So we'll, <laughs> we'll get on. Anyway, that was just that was just to demonstrate what we should be doing. Like we'll we'll go through our more detail later on. Uh, let's go back into live mode. I was just checking those. Lights. Oh, these lights. That's what we should change. Um, maybe if we, let's get rid of these because they're all ceiling lights and we can't even have ceiling lights, or at least not on that level. Can we put them? Wait, let me get that back. Can I put them? Why is it placing it? No, I want to place it on this level. Go up though. No, on the, I'm not on this level. I'm on this level. Oh, there we go. Go put the grid on. Now, does the light, the light does transfer to the lower floor, it's just not as bright. Um, so what we could do, actually, let's have a look at our lighting. Because I think there are, there's some giant lights as well, I think. Like, there's um, some of the lights that are designed for larger spaces. Like, we get some of these. These are pretty cool. Pretty industrial kind of looking things. Du well, there you go, industrial ceiling lamp. That's what it says. So that makes sense. Get some of these in here. Oh, that'd be good. I don't know how light they actually are, but wait, how, well, how much are they? 150 bucks. Uh, that light was 85. The beam is 85. <laughs> it's like my car, the beamer. Uh, but we'll get we'll get some of these in. So if we go in line with the windows, maybe. So there, 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 there. Yeah, good descriptive commentary. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so we'll just chuck these all in. And this actually does provide quite a lot of light, which I'm actually quite happy with. Now, that one doesn't really make much sense because it's above the bathroom, but anyways. Uh, we'll figure that bit out later. And then maybe in that spot, in that spot? Yeah, that makes sense. Then I feel like we have a lot of lights in here, and they're probably going to get in my way. Like, that's a lot of lights. 
but it lights up this area quite nicely. And I guess when we're on this level, you don't see them anywhere, so that's fine. Uh, what do they? Well, what do they look like? Is my question. If we were to pop down, oh god, that uh, that ceiling's interesting. If we were to pop down, how come it's like light on that bit over there, not this one? I don't know. That's weird. Maybe because it's a different level. I don't know. Maybe we should go oh, here. Let's. Okay. So yeah, that. <laughs> About making money, uh, we'll get around to that. Uh, let's hang on. Let's get back to nighttime. Let's get rid of the middle lights. Uh, as long as they, are you getting my. Uh, is that? Do they cost 120 each, or was they? Do they cost more than that? How much do they cost? Because I feel like I'm not getting my money back. 150. I just lost 30 dollars a light. Really? Just because I went into live mode for five seconds. This game is a. This game is a real piece of work sometimes. A real piece of work. Alright, let's put it there. So we're going to move this over a little bit, and then we'll probably do lighting on the lower level as well. Or maybe we'll just even use some of the invisible debug lightings. That might be a better idea. Because <clears throat> that, that actually gives us a pretty decent overall lighting of the floor. Uh, not so much of the walls. So what we can do... Let's go ahead and do bb.show hidden objects. I could have used a shortcut there, but I didn't... Is that right? Yeah, here we go. So now we can use... We'll use some of these to light up the walls. Oh, maybe this one would be better. Well, that's really not bright. It has to be like right on the wall to do anything. Uh, well, actually, what about if we get a wall? Okay, this is... I really do not intend on doing this. <laughs> I had no intention of doing all this. Like, uh, oh, this works. Like, this lights up the wall. If we put these sort of there, there, there. How, oh, how much are these? 130 bucks. All right, fantastic. But that, yeah, no, that lights up the wall really well. Can we put them inside of those, like, beams? Because then we could just disguise them. Uh, if we go like that. Boom, gone. And the dirt is gone. Uh, so you go there. And it still lights up just the same amount. That's actually, that's actually, like, perfect. Uh, we'll adjust those ones later on when I get the lower beams in as well. That actually works so well. Oh, we don't have any beams over here, but that's fine. So we'll just put them in like this for now. Uh... That works much better than anticipated. Also, I don't have enough money. But that, no, that that totally works. And we'll, we'll get more lights around the place. But for now, that definitely works. It's really bright as well. That's good. Yeah, that's good. That works. Yeah, that's good. All right. Anyways, uh, where are you? You go to the toilet. And she needs to have some fun. What did I, is this stereo? Oh, the stereo is still on the floor. <clears throat> go have a dance. Uh, what we'll do while you're dancing, let's open up the store. Uh, hopefully our employee comes in. Oh, here she is. Uh, checking in. Uh, well, let's go manage her. Let's go praise. You, you're doing good, I guess. You know, let's let's be nice to you. Maybe if we're, we're nice to you and we encourage you, you'll become a really good employee. How do I check manage employees? So, um, <clears throat> employees who are skilled at sales will have greater success at interacting with customers and will ring up shoppers faster once they're ready to buy. Uh, is there a way to... I don't really want to promote her. She's got great work ethic, uh, but is there a way to be like give her training or something? <sighs> promote to sales assistant. Uh, well, what happens if we promote? Like, does that just give her more money for doing nothing, or does that actually do anything? Hard work does pay off. It's nice to know there's room for career growth at this store. Thank you, ma'am. I promise I won't let you down. Uh, does that actually change anything? I don't think so. I think it just maybe it just makes her happier to work here. And I'll... I, oh, I can't praise you again. <laughs> I've been praised recently. Allowed to clock out early. Uh, no, you actually need a work day, so... For once in your life. Uh, alright, so you're feeling inspired from that light. Uh, oh, we painted that. 78, okay. Pff, 78, who... Wait, when did you paint that? When did I paint Pop Art? That's why Pop Art sucks. 78 dollars, what? Ugh, let's do a large abstract. Let's keep painting. Oh, this store's really nice and bright. So are you actually going to do anything, or are you just going to, you know, stand... Oh, there you go. Good. Oh, she's talking to our favorite customer. Here she is again. It's always in the store, coming to buy. Oh, look, there's uh, there's Cole. Uh, and some people, for some reason, inappropriately suggested that I should uh, have a relationship with him. But first of all, he's a teen, and we also have aging turned off. I mean, granted, I could age him up, but I don't really want to. I don't really want to get involved with a sim that was a child when we first met him. I feel like that's crossing a boundary. And also, that's kind of out of the scope of this challenge. The challenge is to become rich. And, oh, there you go, Masterpiece as well. How about 3,000 bucks? Beautiful. 
Uh, let's chuck that. Oh, it's really dark. I want to put on a nice light wall somewhere. Oh, here we go. Let's go there. Let's also go uh, set for sale. Can I? Oh, can I not set the mark up per item? Is it just a whole store? I guess so. Hmm, lame. Anyways, well, if that sells, that'll be good. So, um, oh, I didn't get rid of any of my stuff, did I? On my door. But I do want to go back up here. So let me go back into the house real quick. Let's keep the store open for a moment and let's move the door. Oh, actually, what we sh maybe what we should do. Oh, the other the other popular suggestion that I just rem uh, remembered uh, was to get that sort of industrial rug and chuck it on the, the corner piece here, which would be good. I don't know how much this cost. Can we afford it? 60 bucks. And just chuck it there because it looks, yeah, there, it sort of blends in a little bit better. I was wondering if we could do a gate along the top here. I mean, I don't think I have any money, so I guess we'll do that later. Um, but yeah, that's all good. Uh, yeah. All right. Anyways, you're locked in. Uh, have cook. No, let's cook. Uh, what's something good that we can make? Hamburger, cake. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to make cake. I want some actual meal. Uh, taco casserole. Sure, let's do that. Make that. That sounds fun. While you do that, I'll check on the stock. Man, this is a great looking store. Our store looks so good these days. Hopefully if someone wants to buy something, she'll actually ring them up as well. Because, I mean, last time she wasn't really doing that. Oh, there you go. So she does level up. So she reached level 4 sales uh, skill. Or reached sales skill level 4, as it actually reads. Uh, Brianna is becoming an experienced saleswoman. She is rapidly ringing up customers and having excellent success closing the sales of shoppers. Is she really? Because I haven't noticed it. Oh, oh, it's her that's painting. Oh. And you're trying to get into my house, but you can't. Nah. <laughs> I like how she's, um, so wait, can I mentor her now? Oh, I can. Oh, this is what we got to do. Um, oh, yeah, because uh, that was also the other thing. People were like, you, someone has to be painting for you to mentor them. And you're getting so angry. It's really funny. It's really funny when I'm doing something wrong and then everybody in the comments says the same thing. <laughs> no, don't scrap it. Let's go mentor her. Mentor. And let's also get rid of that door before someone else goes in. Okay. Good, you're out. Let's move the door. Locking doors would be great. Uh, what? Where are you? What? Why are you over there? Why did you just teleport? No, don't scrap the painting. Go mentor. Uh, what try- Oh, Cole Rowe is buying something. It, let's see if she goes and rings him up. I'll keep an eye on her. I'm just trying to- Oh, did you not want my mentorship? I wanted to mentor you. Oh. Alright, well. Okay. I guess we did something. Alright, uh, ring up. How much is that worth? 600 bucks? It's alright. I don't know, apparently she didn't want to ring him up, so I'll do that. There you go. Yeah, enjoy the painting, buddy. It's a good one. Thousand bucks. What try- Oh, she even decided to buy a painting. Oh, I wonder if she's gonna buy- Wait, is one of those masterpieces? No, it's one of those ones, isn't it? Uh, anyway, let's go ring up customer. And then what did she paint for me? Oh, she painted a character from Spore. <laughs> Oh, so maybe, that must have been her that painted the, the, the crappy pop art that we had. <laughs> oh, dear. So I'll, I'll, oh, I can't sell that, set that for sale? Uh, I guess because it's not mine. Well, do you want that? I'll give that to you. There you go. That's yours. <laughs> it was your painting anyways. You can keep it. There you go. Anyway, I need to go back upstairs and uh, have my taco casserole that I cooked and never ate. So let me just go here. And... Let's go back into this menu, move the door, go grab a serving, move the door back, and she's cancelled the interaction because I was editing the room. And uh, it's gonna go in the fridge. There you go. She's feeling pretty good about herself. Oh, what choice? Uh, okay, can you please do your job for once? You're actually ass assigned to ring up customer. Look, you're not doing anything. Go, 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 go. Oh my god. That, that's your actual job assignment is to ring up customers. Oh, what? Why did you go to answer customers' questions? Okay, well, that's fair enough. I'm pretty sure I set her to ring up customers last episode. Well, that's my bad. Uh, we're probably going to lose that sale because I don't think I'm going to be able to get downstairs in time. Uh, let's see. Uh, ring up customer. Go, go, go. Ooh, it's flashing. Oh, no, we missed it. Where the hell are you? What took you so long? And also, what the hell are you doing? Sign work task. Ring up customer. Go ring up. Ring him up. No, don't talk to her. Oh my god. Sign work task. Ring up customers. Do that. Thank you. Uh, Alright, well you need to have a little bit of fun. So let's go paint from reference. 
Let's do a large paint from reference and let's paint the store because it's really coming along. Where the hell is the store? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Couldn't see where it was. Uh, it's not real. I can't really fit most of the store in. So that's the main problem. Let's paint those two. <laughs> there you go. All right. Good. All right. Anyway, so oh, there you go. So are you actually going to ring her up this time? You're assigned to ring up. Oh, there you go. Yeah, good. Now it's actually now she's actually doing what I wanted her to do, which is what I thought she was doing, but I guess I must have changed that at some point. Uh, so she's having a snack. That's all good. She's got a, she got everything she needs. She's got food. She's got a bathroom. So who needs a staff room? Anyway, it's got a thousand bucks. All good stuff. Uh, that's all good. Yeah. All right. So actually, the other thing we got to do is uh, be friendly with Cole. Is he around? I'm gonna pin that. Um, I actually did know you could pin these things, but I totally forgot it. And a few people were like, oh, you can pin the, uh, the, the moodlets. Be oh, not moodlets, um, whatever these things are called. Uh, whims, that's what they're called. Uh, you can pin the whims because, because uh, I, I kept saying, oh, stop changing. But you, can, you, can, you, can't pin, you can't pin the emotional ones, though. Uh, so, just as a heads up. Alright, that's definitely going to be a masterpiece, obviously. Look at it! It's fantastic! It wasn't, but it was a thousand bucks. That's still pretty good. Uh, let me just put it there, and let's go remove and remove. And move that over there. Uh, set for sale. No, and don't, don't do that. And don't talk to him, and go to the toilet. There we go. Oh, good. How's that, how's the selling going? You want to sell that one? I'd be, I'd be very happy if you sell that painting. Hey boss, you've kept me working into overtime and on this shift. I need to head home. Uh, compliance with the first labor sim laws. All right, that's fine. Well, you, you're still here, so. All right, let's go greet a customer. Now, uh, what do you want to do? No, not going to do a work thing. Uh, how many points do we have? Uh, and someone else suggested. I mean, I, that someone said that I should just change her aspiration, but I really don't want to do that because her goal in life is to be rich, not to be an artist. That was never the goal of this series. That's just the direction I took it because that's. Probably the easiest way to earn money uh, by selling paintings. Uh, when I say great customer, that's what I actually meant for you to do. Earn 500 bucks. Well, actually, I think I can technically do that right now, can't I? If I just transfer the money. Do I transfer 500 bucks? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that was easy. Uh, what's that? Paint a pop art. Oh, pop art sucks. Is Cole here? No, I'm going to unpin that. I don't want to do that one. Um... So we need 2,000 points and then we can oh, stop wanting to work in the business career. Like, I know you want to be rich, but that's not going to happen. Be funny with Carl. All right, we can do that. Uh, more droids. No, not friendly. Funny. Uh, joke about politicians. <laughs> Did you see that that uh, that caterpillar on the, uh, on, I don't know, that guy's face? I don't know. That, yeah, that joke didn't go well. Uh, let's see. Earn 1,000 bucks. Oh, we can do that. Very easily. Again, that, those are easy ones. I like those ones. Transfer. There you go. 197. We need 30 more points. No, we're not getting a job. What does she want to do? Plant something. I'm not going to plant something either. How about you? What do you want? Propose a crazy scheme. Sure, why not? Let's do that. How much do you want to earn now? 100 bucks? Well, that's easy. How could, why would it go from 1,000 to 100? That's dumb. Um, I wonder if you could just put the money back in and then take it out again. I don't think so. I don't think that would work. There you go. So, five more points. We could just paint. I guess we'll just do a paint. Uh, scrap. Who painted that? Make a friend. Oh, that's that's too much work. Yeah, let's just scrap and then, uh... Wait, was it pop art? Yeah. Just to do pop art. Let's go... Small pop art painting. There you go. Okay, can you not talk to me while I'm painting? The master is at work! Please leave me alone! Thank you. Uh, what choice? Oh, okay. Uh, you want to buy something, do you? Oh, he's next to one of the masterpieces. But he's also next to the cheaper version. Let's see if he's a cheapskate. Or if he's actually rich. Which one? Wait, place your bets now. Do you reckon he's rich or a cheapskate? Is he a wannabe or is he a B? Let's find out right after this. Right after this. Ad break. No, we're not doing an ad break. Let's not do that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is he a cheapskate? Oh, he was a cheapskate. Oh, well done. No changing your answers now. He was a cheapskate, though. He didn't want to buy the expensive one. It's still on sale, though. And we also have that one. Oh, Bella! Does she want to buy the masterpiece? Hello? Um, oh, actually, let's not talk to Bella. I want to finish that painting so we can get the, uh, the masterpiece trait. Or well, the trait to help us create masterpieces, anyways. 
All right. Oh, look, Cole's back again. We could have done that now. All right, so we've got 2,000 points now. How much is that worth? I'm just going to 70 bucks. Let's go away. Uh, right. Reward store. We want to get a uh, creative visionary. Because uh, this will uh, give us a higher chance of painting and writing masterworks. It was exactly what we want. There we go. Minus 2,000 points. But it's worth it. Because now we're a creative visionary. So let's test it out. She's very tired. But let's test it out anyways. Let's go for uh, abstract large. Let's see if this is a masterpiece. Off you go. Off your paint. Where did those come from? Made by Lady Big Wallet. When did... When did we put these... Oh, is my door open? It is. My door is open. I left it open. Oh, who knocked over my trash can? Who knocked over my trash can? It's happened again. I am not happy. Who is the trash can culprit? If anyone knows, please leave it in the comments down below because I think the the first one we never got a, a, a it was never on camera. It was never on camera, so we could there there was speculation to who it was the first time around, but we could never be a hundred percent sure. So the mystery continues. I I missed that one. I don't know if anyone saw who did that. It must have happened a while ago because there's already a plant growing. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see. I'm really upset. Who did that? Who, maybe it's my maybe it's the old employee that I hated and <laughs> criticized all the time because he was crap. Uh, congratulate. Oh, she just finished a masterpiece. How about that? Four thousand seven hundred dollars. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's expensive. Uh, let's chuck this on. Oh, no, well, I need to remove some of these signs. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that new trait and the fact that she's level 10 and the fact that we have that uh, easel are working pretty well for us right now. So let's put that up there. Uh, set for sale. And we're also going to close the store now because uh, nobody wants to buy anything. Because I remember I closed the store just as someone wanted to buy something and people were really upset. Oh, ghost bubble! Someone was asking what a ghost bubble was last time too. It's just when the Sims, for some reason, they disappear inside the store like they just did, but their thought bubble remains. It's really weird. Uh, anyways, uh, okay, before we go to sleep, which I, I feel like she's going to fall asleep on the ground. Let's pick up that. Oh, what are those? Oh, yeah, I think I left them there. <laughs> no, I don't want to water those. Go away. I don't want to water a trash plant. All right, let's put our door back on. I really got to remember this door thing. I really got to remember it. Uh, no, I don't clean. Why would I make her clean that now? Go to sleep. <laughs> Why did I think now is a good time to, hey, let's clean the counter as you're about to fall asleep on the ground. That's a really good idea. No, let's, uh, let's fast forward. And, uh, then let's have some taco casserole for breakfast. Oh, we did have pancakes left. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't think we had any food left over. I guess that's obviously why we found pancakes in here as well. Cause somebody helped themselves to pancakes. Which is really rude. <laughs> oh dear. Come and upgrade. Oh, actually, I'll keep that because we can. Uh, I want to upgrade some more stuff. I think we need some plumbing parts. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> don't brush teeth. Sorry. Just eat your pancakes. All right, that's all good. Clean that up and then clean out the clean off the counter, please, because it's absolutely filthy. Take a shower and then we're good to open. I think. Uh, let's just go ahead and open up now because uh, Aphrodisiac will appear. And take care of business while uh, I'm getting ready. So that's all good. Uh, that's more about that puddle. I'm pretty sure that puddle has been there for ages as well. From when the toilet broke. Or was it the sink that broke? I can't remember. Uh, ex oh, okay, no, that's all right. I was like, excuse me, what are you doing? But she cleaned out the trash, so that's fine. No, I'm not setting that as the front door. No way am I setting that as the front door. Uh, that is front door, so that's good. Oh, look, who, look who's back. Surprise, surprise. Welcome back to the store. You're my daily customer. How much is there to look at in an art gallery, honestly? Uh, what we're going to do, let's transfer some money back from the household uh, into the store. Because I want to start, well, first of all, let's get let's get the rest of these lights in because we're, some of these areas are just really, really dark. So let's get one over there. And we need some by the front of the, front of the building because it's quite dark over here as well. Uh, and then we need them in the side bits here because these are all quite dim. And also in there. All right, that's looking pretty good. Then at the back as well, this is very dark. There and there. Yeah, it's good. Nice and bright now. So what we're going to do, we're also going to grab these. Do these join up? I think they do between levels. 
Yeah, I'm going to grab some more of these. How much do they, they, they... I know these are expensive, but... You know, it's, it's a necessity. It's, it's uh, something we have to purchase. For the aesthetics of the lot. Where the hell is it? What the... I don't know if that was weird. Uh, anyways. There we go. And we're out of money. Uh, <laughs> we'll be buying more of them as we can afford them. Uh, let's also move some of these up. Because I don't know why these are so low. I think it's when I changed the wall height. I was worried that they would disappear. But they won't. Alright, so we have loads of lights in here now. Looks pretty good. What are you... Oh, okay. I think I... Because I moved the door, so they glitched out a little bit. Right, let's go... Oh, you're a little bit too tense. That's okay. That's okay. You want to go... You can go have a little bit of a dance. A little bit of a boogie. Oh, yeah. Freak out. Beautiful. Uh, everybody else, feel free to buy some masterpieces. We're, we're slowly dwindling down to only having masterpieces remaining. And by dwindling down, I mean we have three masterpieces. One there... That abstract, I believe, and then that abstract, which is also worth a lot of money. Wow. That's going to sell for a really big profit as well. Why were you even tense? What are you tense from? Uh, unemployed. Oh, well, you're self-employed. That's silly. Uh, let's go for a classic this time. Large classic. There we go. Oh, that looks beautiful. It already looks really good. Look at that. It already looks fantastic. Oh, yeah, we really need... Can you... Do you want to clean the toilet? Or, and fix the sink? Uh, let me assign work task. Clean the store. Let's see if she... Cleans the toilet for me. Because that would be nice. <laughs> Excuse me, my nose is a little bit uh, blocked up as of late. You know when I said clean the store? I meant now. I meant now. Brenda's already doing this. Well, <laughs> is she doing it? Because I don't think she is. I don't think she's cleaning. None of the box. Well, that's not really worth it. I'll set it for sale, though, of course. Um, let's try a... Let's go realism. Watch. So, do you want to clean the store, or...? Right. Okay, well... If you're not going to do that, I'll just go back to ring up customers. Because you clearly don't want to clean the toilet. Is she doing it? I don't know. I don't know. Bring up customers, yeah. Alright, you go fix... Oh, fix. Go uh, clean the toilet. And then repair that. I like how everyone uses that toilet and that sink. Just because they're the closest. Nobody ever uses the other ones. <laughs> uh, right. Uh, clean. And almost all good. Then you can resume afterwards. We should probably get an actual counter at some point as well. And also finish the interior of this building. Because uh, I do want to have interior walls around here as well. Not just going to be open like this. It won't always be like this. Uh, well, if we can sell one of those masterpieces today, that'd be great. <coughs> okay, that's looking pretty fantastic. Much like all of her other paintings. Uh, do you want to finish that? Hey, there you go. Another masterpiece. Beautiful. Cranking them out now, two thousand five hundred bucks. Uh, don't have. See, we don't have enough wall space now. There's a little spot there, but that's why we need to get some interior walls going on here. And if you could do your job and actually, you know, speak to customers. I mean, technically your job is ringing up, but uh, let's go talk to customers because I need to start selling. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. He wants to. Bye. Let's see if she goes over to him. Nope. She's just. Oh God's sake. I hate when she doesn't do what her actual job is. Go ring up. Look, she's just dancing. That's not your job. That is not your job! Criticize after you ring him up. Your one job, you have literally one job, is to ring up customers when they want to buy something. Get back to work, stop dancing. Like really? Like really? Oh, really? Okay, you're just doing it again. All right for Slack. If you, I, so help me, if you dance again right now, so help me. Alright, that's fine. Oh, don't close the deal. Don't do that. Did you just dance? Was that, is that dancing? Or is that just weird arm movements? Because I'm up to here, lady. I'm up to here. Oh, Jesus. No, it's just weird hand movements. She just moves in a funny old way. Alright. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's get uh, let's get <laughs> let's calm down. Let's take it down a notch, and let's get good old uh, whatever your name is. What is your name? 
Cole Rowe. Let's get him to... Oh, so you, you happily used my toilet. You kept me working overtime. You didn't work. You were dancing for the last hour. The one job you had to actually, you know, ring up customers is the one job you didn't do. Ugh. What an absolute turd burger. Um, so I know you want to buy a masterpiece from me. That's for sure. Endorse products and enthuse about prices. Our prices are far lower than they used to be. Well, I mean, they used to be way lower back in the day, but now, now not so much. There you go. Oh, why would you buy that one, you jerk? Get out of my store. <laughs> Get out of my store. Don't buy this. <laughs> I don't want you to buy that. It's not even that good. I mean, it's all right. 923, but not great. Anyways, remove sign. Let's go get your mum to buy something too. No, don't close the deal. You can't close- I hate it. I always just instinctively click the one with the cash register, but it's usually close the deal the first time around, so it's always bad. Oh, he he's pretty keen on buying something. Let's uh, answer his questions, and uh... It'd be great if everyone wasn't boogieing down in the middle of my store, but you know. <laughs> that's really- that's kind of what happens when you have a stereo left in the middle. Okay, let's have a chat to him. There we go. He's looking pretty ke keen. Katrina in the background, enjoying some. Oh, he's he's so keen to buy any second now. Uh, oh, well, she wants to buy too. How about that? Enthuse about. Let me just get him to buy, and then ring up customer. There you go. Okay, so he wants to buy that one. Okay, nobody's buying my masterpieces though. What did I say? Is a masterpiece? Oh, it's a thousand bucks. Not great though. All right, if you could hurry up, that'd be good. Okay, there's one, and let's get the second one. A thousand and eighty from her. And... One thousand six hundred from him. Pretty good. Okay, and then you can go use the toilet. Oh, just remove that sign, then go use the toilet. There you go. And let's also remove that sign. Oh, good. Where did that plate come from? Oh, from the snack machine. Okay, we should probably get a bin inside the store. Nobody's knocked down my bin? Alright, we're good. Uh, do you want to go have a snack? Might as well just buy a snack. Uh, there's no microwave. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's have a sandwich. Sandwich! Yes. Hmm. It's good. We can just live in here. How good is this? Alright, Katrina, what are you up to? Do you want to buy a painting? I don't think we've never met before. Oh, okay. There you go. We just said hello and off she goes. She's buying a painting. My favorite customer so far. I didn't even have to talk to her. I just said hello. Did we even greet her? I don't know if I even got to that point. 2,000 bucks. Thanks, Katrina. Thank you. Really, really nice of you. Um, do I know all of you? I know you. Oh, no, I didn't mean to say go here. I know you. Do I know you? Who are you? Oh, look, someone's using the other toilet. I guess because he was in that one when they were. Hello. Welcome to my store. I don't think we've met. I don't believe we've met. So, what kind of price range are you in? Are you into the $121 price range? That's all you can afford? Well, get out. Get out of my store. I don't accept pittances. I need a proper payment. But let's discuss, uh, let's discuss more things. I'll answer your question too. Let's get one more sale for the day, and then hopefully before she falls asleep. Uh, and then we'll see how we go. Oh, aphrodisiac! You come here to, to shop in my store after you were working here all day. That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. That's good to know, actually. So that means we could, we could still get, uh, rich lady to shop in my store, as long as we stay open. Uh, after, okay, could you just buy my stuff, please? No, 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 don't, don't go nap on a park bench. Just, no, oh, okay, it's getting worse, it's getting worse. <laughs> Alright, closing store. Plus $7,000, hey, that's pretty good. Uh, the, oh, ghost bubbles! Ghost bubbles! Okay, they're gone. Uh, yeah, so we got a lot of trash in here. And I think, I'm thinking we're gonna get, I need to get a bin inside. Um, probably be ideal. Uh, right, let's move the door back so we can get into the uh, the old apartment upstairs. You know, the old move the door to lock it. It's the smartest way to lock a door in history. Uh, but that's going to do it for me today, guys. So thank you for watching this part of Sims 4 Get to Work Rags to Riches. We are certainly getting rid of those rags now. That's, uh, we painted some fantastic works, but we didn't quite, um, no, I don't need to transfer money. No point. Oh, I guess we'll transfer. We'll transfer 500 so we can paint with it. Um, yeah, we painted some really nice paintings this time. A couple of masterpieces, thanks to that trait. That really helped us out. Uh, and we, we did a little bit more renovation. Got some proper lighting in here now, so it actually makes sense physically. The lights aren't just floating. 
Uh, but, oh, look how shiny the floor. I love how shiny the floor is. But next time we'll be back selling more, hopefully getting a little bit more of the interior done. Uh, basically, we're, we're going to get some sort of uh, heart, like, well, single story height walls in here to act as uh, uh, walls where we're going to hang the paintings on. Sort of like a, a kind of real art gallery in a sense, you know, where they have those kind of temporary walls that they put up. Anyways, yeah, you'll, you'll see it unfold. Uh, but thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day. Ha 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 ha!